Hello and welcome back to or welcome to another visit to that Demokratiska Böhmen where we find ourselves right, right outside the new chemical plant that was built recently and that we are feeding with oil and producing chemicals from oil and imported crops and I wonder how much how is this is this a good business for us we have 30 tons here and let's see how much we have imported uh, crops uh, how much crops 16 and a half thousand crops rubles of crops we imported that's that's not very much and I believe that the going price for chemicals is no, that's not that bad 12 and a half thousand rubles per ton 17 almost 18 thousand dollars per ton so we could put even we could focus this either onto our pensions fund or we put it into uh, our spending money uh, that is the question because yes we, we are not really uh, if I don't do anything I'm getting by on uh, whatever it is I've, I've got going on here uh, but as soon as I build anything you know then uh, that costs a lot of money uh, simply and so let's see about this we should not be importing any more chemicals are we that's something better to look at while uh, while checking out the books looking at the books here uh, we have import of resources chemicals we are importing chemicals as we speak that means that there is something wrong or it doesn't work or that there is something with the thing, thing there oh yeah ne, ne. you are crop trucks okay so you are the out station there is one truck and you are where are you Okay, well, you are on your way, but uh, apparently they run out, so we need more of you. And uh, what we do then is we go to the road vehicles depot and we buy one of our favorite trucks. Like, yes, let's buy a lot of them. How much are they? 116,000 apiece, yes. Pensions fund never to be touched for any uh, purpose whatsoever, but for the pensions, of course. Then summer skat sat the school there ikke fri, and if you say that, it's apparently okay to stay. Yes, go. Go trucks, go! Make me chemically independent! <laughs> uh, that might uh, do put the dent in the chemical use. Where is the chemicals being used? The chemicals are being used here at the Clothes, clothes manufacturing, fabric factory. Yes, we have a really small uh, warehouse. Is there a way to put another warehouse close by here? This is obviously some a place where I haven't gotten myself enough buffering into the system, and this one is so large. No, it would really help to have a little 
a little tiny, tiny one, a little tiny one. Um, like, um, is there a mod? I think there is a mod. I shall be back. I hit pause. And there, right. Hello, welcome back. It has been about 10 minutes, 5 10 minutes in real life. And we are back. And I believe I found a mod, a small warehouse, it was called. And let's see, yes, a small warehouse. This is much more like it. Yes. If there was, would only be a good way to connect this up as well. But I don't think, yes, tooltip, but he hello, you're not helping. You no, know, thank you for going away. Uh, this will never work, that is, and that is completely understandable. Uh, it is, well, I mean, surely the, the people of, well, we can do it like, yes, and yes, and, oh, unpaused. Let's not be paused. Sorry, forgot to unpause. Uh, there we go, uh, focus. The sound is a bit distracting when it comes up, I just realized. Uh, but of course, we need the sound. Yes! Uh, get on with it, man, please. Mod, you were doing a small warehouse. Yes, you were. And there, maybe. No! Right, I was. I had a thought. I did not speak it aloud, uh, but I should have uh, maybe clued you in. Uh, there, imaginary person, uh, because it was so steep going down to the road. It's impossible to get down, and just maybe, just maybe the forklift is something where where I can cheat the game a bit. And you can call it cheating if you like, because this game is such a pain at times, so when you find something that you can use to your advantage... Damn it, didn't work. Why not? Too sharp turn, but that's because I didn't build it right. Uh, cancel or demolish? Yes. Move. Rubs not meant. Did not mean to cut off the road. What? Sorry. 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 What? Overlaps with existing consumer. Hmm. That's the power line. That would be the power line. And that was most likely built after the... Uh, ah, it is times like this when the game is so very, very rewarding, isn't it? Or, no, maybe rewarding wasn't the word I was looking for. Unforgiving. Unforgiving is the word I was looking for seeking there and now then let's try the small warehouse this would just be great if it was possible yes this would be terrific really terrific so please please yes it is possible to cheat the game a bit to get back for all uh, too sharp a turn, too sharp an angle, too sharp a something, too steep a hill, too cheese, something inclined, too something this, too something that. I got you, game, finally. A million billion points, you, me, one.
and you should not be uh, filling up with fabric. Uh, you will do this limit amount. You are for chemicals and nothing else. Chemicals. There we go. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to throw that throw that away. 100%. No. Apparently 95%. That's enough. That's quite enough. There we go. We're off again. The wireframe is on. It should not be on. All the related vehicles. Well, that's a lot of them, yes. I did put a lot of them here, didn't I? <laughs> that was maybe not a good idea. Do. Uh, but maybe we just maybe we can do a little bit of. Uh, they, I mean, they they are coming in here rather frequently. It looks so. Instead of that, let's do this. So you are now going there to load. That's good. And I mean, you are really close to the uh, crops storage. So if you could. After you have unloaded, go and why not go and load up here on crops? Not in, not there, no, there we want chemicals, but in Singapore warehouse, we want crops. Uh, yes, like that, and we do not go there. Right now, like so, and then you go to the uh, <laughs> chemicals factory which I left over by Kirarush, yes, and you go here. Are we doing this right? No, no, no. First, you go here and you unload. This is a bit ridiculous. No, you do both things at the same place. Yes. Where you, of course, the, then unload whatever it is you got, they will accept, and you load up on chemicals. And then you go back to the warehouse factory. Yes, very good. This is a very good way of doing it, I'd say. Oh, I hope. Um, <laughs> so now we just need to go find all the trucks. Are you one of these trucks? No. They will be red. And Why is this truck taking this road? Why are any of these trucks taking this road? Was this an, a more efficient route somehow for the for them? Hmm. If that's the case, maybe I should put up a, a gas station out here. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, so they can fuel up, which they want to do sometimes. At maybe possibly inappropriate times. Are you do you have an, an a substation close by? No. Well oh, they're really far away. I figured I could just sneak one in here since I have electrical electrical infrastructure available and there would be a decent enough place. Yes. And do we have a um a uh, yes we do we do it we do it this way we want ourselves a little tanker truck or well, not so little maybe one of the yeah the biggest one why not and we go from over here at the train diesel station load on fuel then we go to the yeah, petrol station and unload and you can wait until you are unloaded 
happened if just for some reason there was a train in there which had something on it and it this thing would get into its mind to load up on anything else but fuel I'll I'm clicking those buttons yes and that doesn't matter and off you go off you go now then uh, the trucks Supposedly will end up out here at some time. Uh, but they're going all this way. It's a good thing that I will now make them carry stuff both ways. That will be a big improvement in efficiency, I would think. Uh, yes, close a little bit further, please. Here we are. Here we are. And uh, what's going on here? Who are you? You are one of these, yes. Excellent. Uh, we copy that onto you. And... Yes, you still... Uh, mm. Yes, you're still waiting until you're unloaded and that's where you are and then you will go to the warehouse and load. And then you will go. Yes, very good. So I just need these trucks to turn up at a regular interval, <laughs> just the interval that is needed. And are we brave enough to uh, to do this? Stop importing chemicals. Uh, yeah, we are because clothes. It's still the thing that we use fabric for, and it's full everywhere. I don't even know how the they managed to run the factory. Is there any chemicals in here? No, not yet. Are there any chemicals in here? What are you doing? You're something... You're doing something? Okay. Uh, what of traffic going on here? <laughs> uh, how many did I put in motion for these trucks? Heading to this building. You are one of the chemical trucks. Yes, you are. But I did close down the correct one. Uh, but no, here we have one. one. The one waiting at station is correct. Uh, we do a little bit of trickery here. We go there and we do this and we do. Where are you going? You are going to the fabrics factory to unload and you got a load of 1.5 tons of chemicals. That's not very much. And I suppose... Did I stop importing crops? No. I don't think so. Uh, yes, you do that. And... Uh, yes. Keep you around. Which are you? Are you one of these? You are one of the ones dedicated to... You, however... You, however, we. Oh, did I close down the truck again? You. Onto here, please. Uh, yes. You onto there and unpause. Uh, and what are you? You are also one of these. You want to uh, that one. Yep. And they are transporting a lot. Good for them. Uh, there will prob probably be, probably be a great queue of them outside the small warehouse here once it's full. But. Haha, <laughs> I am very glad that I got one in on the game for once. But still, as of yet, there are no... Damn it, I messed up. Crap, I did it wrong. <laughs> Instead of the fabric factory, you are supposed to go here. 
of course. Yes, of course you are. And after the femoral cargo station where you load up on unload that yes so after this one you go here yes where you unload uh, and you will have chemicals with you and that's what you will unload yes good very good uh, i think and we removed the fabric factory from its route and no, 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 absolutely stop what you are doing right now. Absolutely stop it. How is this even going on? You have props available. You see, this is what I was told, what I've been talking about. But you aren't even there. You are still at the fabric factory. Okay, hmm. interesting. How do I... Okay, yes, and are you also one of these? No, you are not affected. Uh, and now you're going to the warehouse over here to load up on crops. Then you will go to the chemical plant and you will unload the crops and you will load up on chemicals. And then you will go to the small warehouse here and unload Yes, and then you will start over. That is the way it should have been from the very beginning. Uh, no. Where are the trucks? Where are the rest of the trucks? Here is where you miss a line system of some kind. But yes, this is one of those trucks. I'm gonna have to do it the hard way. Because you never know if it's another truck coming here. Is that all of them? The whole bunch? And does it work then? Let's see. happens out here in the just by Vicra, right? So, whoa there with the camera. Uh, yes, Vicra is up ahead. And who will give way? None of them. Excellent. They possess the technology of passing through each other at uh, certain intersections and that is very helpful for the efficiency. And also the pedestrians, they can sort of pass through. Where are we? We are here. Try an overtake maneuver on the slow, slow little truck. Oh, that was dangerous. That was a bus of people there. Mad person. That one is really slow. Yes, he successfully overtook car. I hope they uh, they managed to do one-way roads and we can have build motorways. Lovely. Why are you going to the fabrics factory? No. Yes. When you set out on your journey, that was your target. But now when you got there, you realized that it was no longer your target, perhaps. What are you doing now? You're going to fill up. Okay. You are allowed. No. You're going. Yes. Oh. This is not suboptimal because you are loaded up on that. I'm going to interfere a little bit here. You, you are there in your in your thing. 
There you go. A U-turn there is certainly very appropriate and efficient. That means you do the same. And you are something else. Okay, but I believe there should be... Did I miss one or what happened? Well, here we go. We are filling filling up on chemicals. And I think I overdid it with the trucks a little bit. Quite by quite a bit, maybe. There we go. We are now self-sufficient on chemicals. By using some mods, I feel though that the this mod is uh, the chemical plant chemical plant where did i leave it i am out by kirarush where is kirarush it is this way the chemical plant i feel it's quite balanced after all uh, the advantage over the stock chemical plant is that you don't need to dig out gravel. Oh, let's take a look at Stockholm at, while we fly by at night here with the great statue. Ah. And Stockholm is the only town, city, what should I call it? I don't think there's... Let me guess. I'm, I'm guessing 6,000. Haven't looked in a long time. 7,000, not that bad of a guess. And um, yes, this town was an experiment to build a town using only construction offices. So. Every single bit of road, every single bit of everything here is built by our own people and uh, our own steel. The, it's our own bitumen in, in the, the asphalt for the roads, but a lot of the stuff we just import. I can't be bothered to make bricks and stuff that doesn't seem interesting. And that's what's good about the, uh, the this chemical plants mod, chemical plant mod. Uh, since it allows you to create chemicals, uh, it uses a lot of oil, so it's certainly not cheap to produce chemicals in this way. And it also needs crops. And it needs a lot of workers. A lot of workers. And now it's out of oil, so it's... Oh, the train is, the train is there, okay. That's why... Uh, that's why, and another train is coming, and that will be very hungry for oil as well. But how are we doing down here? There is some things to tend to here. There is the uh, this thing to tear down. And now people here should be, yeah, the average lifespan is now 72.2 years. They're doing much better. How are we for bitumen storage? We are almost full tells me I need a third train. What a shame. I need to buy a third bitumen export holding train. Why not do that now? It is very quiet here. Not a single train. Here, here we are full for trains though. Here they can't wait to be unloaded. So we are not using Not using enough oil still. But yes, uh, before anything else, let's get another train to go sell bitumen for dollars. How are we doing? How much money have we made so far? Dollars, fuel, uh, we are okay this, this year. Bitumen, 1.6 million. Okay, that's not a lot. Uh, six million in fuel. And 
1.6 million. That's it's less than I was hoping for, but okay. Uh, it's obvious then that we need another train. And should we make it the same or should we change it up a bit? Let's go with something from the Soviet Union. It is it is in its last uh, on its last breath here, so why not indulge ourselves and buy something Soviet? I wish one could uh, look at it or something a bit more because this is okay. It has an engine power of. Let's click the diesel locomotive so we don't do anything stupid like buying an electric lo locomotive when we have absolutely no electrified track. This one does 100 kilometers an hour. It's very expensive, and so is that one. Uh, 3,000 kilowatts, 1,500, 4,500, but that is double-headed, I'm sure. So no to little to third to 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 papa. No, 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 no. I'm not going to buy. Not going to buy that one. Let's go for this one. This one I like too. That's the one we we have a couple of these somewhere. Uh, let's use that. Of course, that you're not supposed to go there. God damn it. Uh, and I don't cannot just do as I did before. I feel with the ruble being to this. Why did I buy a train for rubles then? Here. If I am so... Uh, one, two... Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. It can only go to complete uh, crap. How bad could that be? How bad could that be? Vraska, I believe, is here. Yes, it says Vraska. This is really lousy to look at, but it had to be done. Now, instead, let's go look at the train. Isn't that much, much better? As, as I said, it is time to tear down uh, this. The uh, again, the, the chemicals plant, excellent mod. I think it's fair, fair balance since you need so much oil and workers to produce the, the chemicals. Uh, this thing, I don't like it because I can't get all of the power out of it. That's the main complaint. Uh, and also, I probably make more money. I, I think I make more money by selling the ritual straight out. Uh, there we go. And so we, you will be demolished. Or should we keep it around for uh, for posterity's sake or something? People can still go to work here. Um, they won't do anything because there is no bitumen available to, to burn. That should also mean that, uh, yes, it means that there is pollution is far better. And they are now living to 70 years of age. Yes. <laughs> this is a bit inconsiderate of you, don't you think? Blocking all of that junction there with your great length. Bad train, aren't you? Yes, we're a bad train. And you have filled up on fuel. That is my fault entirely. I should have been more specific. I forgot. Uh, that doesn't really. It's no biggie. It's just the first time he will sell some fuel as well. There are, however, very few trains here. I wonder if there's a snarl up somewhere. You are one of the trains that's stealing oil from uh, from the chemicals factory. <laughs> I've been very focused on chemicals here for a bit, and 
I don't have enough oil to produce more. I do have a lot of it here. Uh, it can basically only work when, when there is not a train sat here, I believe. Because the train gets all the precedence in the world, apparently. It gets a little bit, but then it's cut. Yeah, what's gonna do? I think that we have a, more than enough chemicals. Here we go! For, with one of, of the trucks with an optimized route arrives with props. He unloads. Perfect. And then he did. Ah, okay. He is not one of those trucks. He is one of the ones that only uh, transports transports uh, props, of course. Yes. Will we survive on Rubik's at the current at the current pace, at the current state of things, without the old trusty backbone of the economy that had been going back and forth, back and forth, feeding us? I kind of miss that steady income. And with that, we say good night. And of course, thank you so very much for watching. Good night.